all right guys because of how i had to do this some stuff's going to be upside down but that's all right you'll be you'll be okay uh the objective for this lesson here is to be able to convert uh, metric units okay and so i've put on uh, you can put that as your objective on the top of your notes to be able to convert metric units uh, i have this conversion chart here that i'm going to explain in just a second but if you want to uh, copy that down pause the video right now and copy that down uh, that'd be a really good idea and help you understanding uh, how to convert metric units. And uh, also in addition to that, uh, I'm just going to go over a really fast, I hope, uh, review of a couple concepts that you guys should already know and be familiar with. So let me move this out of the screen. Let's do that. Uh, the first one is this. When you're multiplying uh, fractions, okay, uh, again, this is, this is really a review. You guys all know this. You're multiplying fractions. We know that factors of 18 is uh, three times six. Okay, so if we were to write rewrite this, one times three times six. One times three times six. One times three is three. Three times six. That's the numerator, and the denominator is three times 25. And we can see that there. Now uh, we can see this three and three on the top and the bottom uh, cancels. Okay, so we'll cancel that, and then our solution is left with 6 over 25. Okay, most of you guys should be familiar with canceling the top and the bottom like this. Some people right here just go cancel 1, and this is a 6, and that's fine too. All right, let's move on. Uh, 27 over 100, if we want to make that, uh, to divide that, we know all you need to do is move this decimal place over to the left twice, move this over to the left twice, and 27 divided by 100 is 0 0.27. The same thing with 380 divided by 100. Pretend there's a decimal there, which there kind of is. Move that to the left twice, and you have 3.8 over 1, which is just simply 3.8. The last topic I want to review very quickly before we get started is when we're adding uh, fractions, we know that we need to have a common denominator. And so what we do is the... Uh, Least common denominator if three and five, uh, three and five is fifteen, and so what we do is we multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by something that equals one. Okay, so five over five is equal to one. So we're not really changing the value; we're just changing the form of this into ten over fifteen. So that way we're able to add it to this one. We will multiply times three over three to give us. 3 over 15, and again, we're not changing the value of this, we're just writing it in a different way. And then if we add those together, 10 plus 3 is 13, and when you're adding, you keep the same denominator, and so we get 13 over 15. Now, having said that, combining those, that short little lesson real quick with the chart that you've already written down, uh, here is the very easy way I think one way, I think it's an easy way, to convert uh, units of measurement. Okay, so if you know, for example, that um, let's say we want to convert 1,282 grams. Okay, we abbreviate grams with a G. And we want to convert that to kilograms. Okay. And so we know that uh, if you can memorize it or however you want to do it, some people already know that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And so what we do is we basically multiply this number by something that equals 1, 1,282 grams times. And what we said was, see, we're wanting this gram uh, unit to cancel. So we're going to put grams on the bottom here and we're going to put kilograms on top. And we know that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And so what we can do is just like what we cancel before this goes over one, we can cancel the gram unit on the top and the gram unit on the bottom. And then we're left with 1,282. And the gram cancels. And here's the times one kilogram. So we use the unit of kilogram over... 1,000 and this gram unit canceled with the one on the top so there's no unit on the bottom and then just as we reviewed this equal you will move the decimal place over three spots this equals 1.282 
kilograms, oops, kilograms there. Very easy way to do that. Let's do one more. Let's say, uh, or let's do a few more anyway, two more. Let's say we want to do meters into centimeters. And so we have 47 meters. We want to convert that into centimeters. Well, we know, or we can look in the chart, that 47 meters, okay, and we can put that over 1 and multiply that by something that equals 1, okay? So we want this meters to cancel, so we're going to put a meters on the bottom, and we know that 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, okay? 100 centimeters and 1 meter. So we're going to multiply this by something that equals 1 the meter units are going to cancel. And then on the top we have 47 times 100. So 47, we'll move 47 times 100 is 4,700. You move the decimal over two spots. And the only unit is centimeters. So in 47 meters, there are 4,700 centimeters. And the last one, let's see, we've done uh, mass with kilograms, we've done uh, length, okay, uh, with uh, centimeters, and let's do some one with volume. And so volume, the metric unit is liters and milliliters and all that, so we'll do 2.3 liters, and we want to convert that to milliliters. Well, we know that 2.3 2.3 liters, and what's something we can multiply times that equals 1 if liters is on the bottom? Well, there's 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. So, let's do that uh, math. We will cancel the units of liters, and we will do 2.3 times 1,000 gives us 2 Point three, and then if you remember how this one, two, three, that's uh, we move that decimal place over one, two, three spots, so that equals two thousand three hundred. Okay, after you moved it over three, and the units remaining was milliliters, two thousand three hundred milliliters. So I know that was a very quick uh, explanation of that. Uh, but I hope it made sense, and if you have any questions, you can always ask in class. Uh, and so I guess the, uh, the summary for this is to convert uh, metric units, okay, you need to multiply some, by something that equals 1. And you can either, again, memorize that chart or, or uh, memorize that there's 100 centimeters in 1 meter and 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And... Uh, and there's more investigation that you'll need to do with that, but that's a very easy way to do it. To convert units of measure, multiply by something that equals 1. That's going to cancel the units that you want to get rid of. There's a concise way to say it. All right. Have a good one. hope you enjoyed this video.